Howdy Jams, my name is Mohit and people today uh, I'm going to explain the before after uh, methods of jQuery along with prepend and append uh, methods prepend, append, before, after and the each uh, event of jQuery as well as well as the is selector so there's there's a lot to learn out here okay, very very cool let's learn all this in no time and quite easily okay guys have a look out here uh, I have two panes out here the HTML pane where I have a button which says click me then a URL list which says uh, which has three uh, list items carried all in sweet line okay and if I show it to you in totality at the bottom we have a P tag which says I love these uses okay I'm gonna uh, close up this panel and bring up the JS panel okay <coughs> right uh, guys, the before after and uh, prepare the pen methods actually add some content. Add certain, um, punctuating certain places of your document. Let's see what areas they punctuate or they enter into, they intrude into. Let's see that. Let's see the is selector and uh, yep, so let's learn something good, something useful. And even the each. Uh, event handler or the each event okay so let's start now <clears throat> this is the first chunk of code very simple the uh, click event handler uh, has been thrown in so when somebody clicks on the only button of the document do something do what let's see that okay now this is how you're gonna use the each event uh, basically what I'm saying out here is for every ally for each ally run a function and pass in an argument uh, index so the index for carrot is 0 uh, orange is 1 uh, sweet lime is 2 right <coughs> why do we pass in the index argument will become very clear very soon let's push in the next chunk of code now uh, here I'm actually saying is uh, this this refers to the li or li's dot css list style none so basically for each and every li one by one it's going to remove that bullet through the css method i am uh, list style type is the long hand notation while list style is the short hand notation i'm making sure that every li loses the bullet so click me to see that absolutely carrot oranges and sweet lime lose their bullets let's push in some more code <coughs> now this time I'm saying this again refers to each and every ally one by one dot prepend index index is gonna be zero one two one by one plus one so in index gonna be zero one two <coughs> and plus one is gonna be one two three plus uh, a full stop or a period or a dot and some space let's see why I did that let me click uh, let me hit the click me button you see what I've done is I've removed the bullets, but instead I'm uh, you know instead I'm turning the UL into a a UL list, an ordered list into an ordered list, a OL list. Okay, so that's the UL to uh, OL transformation. Very simple. Prepend. So what what prepend actually does? What do you think prepend does? Prepend adds some content. In our case, index plus one plus a dot or a period and some space. You know whatever is contained inside the round brackets out here but within the element which element this what is this this is the ally simple okay so add some content within in the bounds of in the boundaries of <coughs> right next line this dot append append is gonna push it at the tail but within what a, a space and exclamation mark click me you see a space and an exclamation mark right at the end okay let's go again some more code this dot after I'm saying after every ally each ally push in uh, this uh, funny tilde signs you know multiple tilde signs five or six of them after and if I click me you see they are pushed after as expected but they are not within if they were within they would be in line 
they are not within they have been pushed out of the boundaries of the LI that's the difference between append and after okay at the same time let's understand the <coughs> before method prepend append after methods we have understood we already know the CSS method most of you may already be aware you've seen the each event uh, handler let's see the <coughs> before method okay now this is a little complicated uh, here I'm actually saying if so there's an if conditional see it goes like this cut and give me a sec and a cut okay so this is the syntax for the if conditional guys so if this is true so whatever inside you know the round brackets is true then run something out here this is the syntax okay so let's see what is true and what should be run so I'm saying <coughs> if give me a sec let me remove this for a minute so if this this refers to the LR is first child of its parent and that's gonna happen only for the carrot because see this is gonna be uh, one by one carrot orange sweet lime and the check is gonna be uh, running for you know for all the three uh, items carrot orange sweet lime but only carrot is the first child not the orange or the sweet lime if it is so so basically you know it's gonna hold true only for the carrot because only carrot is the first child of its parent then this dot before so only before the carrot throw in the paragraph which paragraph this paragraph where it says I love these juices so it's gonna get hold of the paragraph dollar sign P dollar sign P refers to the paragraph this paragraph and it's gonna cut uproot from its position and it's gonna displace the position of the paragraph and push it before the carrot it was after the sweet lime it's gonna be before before the carrot let's see that in action boom <coughs> see that so uh, here we have the paragraph it's been uprooted so this you know before out here takes the paragraph does a cut paste changes the position and places it before the first child of the LR first child of the LR is nothing but the carrot as simple as that so people uh, this is the you know this is how you use the is method I'm sorry if I uh, use the if selector it's actually the is method you know, strange way in which you use the is method okay slightly tricky but so people I hope that this uh, information has been useful to you you learn the CSS for something which is uh, very common so append prepend uh, after before methods and even the each event handler uh, you have a good day bye bye peace